man who made waves by creating knives is coming to Sacramento to show his skills off this weekend. Yeah, our sharpest tool in the shed, Molly Real, is meeting him and getting a sneak preview. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you guys, Neil Kamimura, let me just tell you, he won't say it, but I will. He's a big deal. He is arguably <laughs> the biggest rock star in the culinary knife world, and he is here in Sacramento for a major event this weekend. It's a huge culinary knife show called Forge to Table Sacramento. It's the first event of its kind here in Sacramento. And Neil, it's gonna it's a big deal, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's a big deal because we gained a lot of support in this area. We have guys like Chris who have multiple restaurants here, and then we had a lot of large companies, not just from the knife industry. In the knife industry, we had you know, Ameribraid grinders come in, we had combat abrasives come in, but we had received a lot of uh, support. So we had companies like Yeti, uh, uh, Zach Brown sent some wine down from his company. We had uh, Anchorage Brewery make us our own beer for this event. And then we had Bachan, which is pretty close to here, support so that all the 40 makers that are coming to this event that hand make knives, don't have to pay for a table, everything is free for them, unlike most industry standards. Yeah, and we will get to see you in action at this event. Now, folks may have already seen you in action. You were a champion on the History Channel show, Forged in Fire, and you won that less than a year after you actually started making knives. Yeah, so with that experience, I was making knives with like automotive tools, and you know, it wasn't a big risk for me, I was new, and. I just wanted to go and prove that I had an ability to work hard, and that's what came out, and that's what showed. Yeah. Well, looking at your knives here that you brought here today, it definitely shows. Talk about what we're seeing as as we look at these knives. The markings, like if people aren't familiar with this. So these these knives are Damascus knives. So some of them are pattern welded, some of them are random Damascus. But what they're done is traditionally forge welded multi-layered steels so there's two types of steels in there 1080 and 15 and 20 one has a nickel content so when you forge weld it together you can't really see the forge welds until you acid etch it but those so you know some of these have a thousand layers of steel some of these have 260 layers it just depends on what it is but it's all done in a traditional fashion a thousand layers of steel that's incredible how like how long did it take you to make this I mean, time is, I mean, <laughs> I did these knives in probably a matter of two weeks, but I mean, we, you know, we're talking about the oldest type of way to make money. I beat things with fire on steel, and then I sharpen it on a rock. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and this is part of your family. Your great-grandfather was a blacksmith. So my great-grandfather was really tied to the Hawaii community, and, you know, and I'm third generation born in Hawaii, and I'm extremely proud of it, and my family helped create some of the industry that we have there. He was the the last living blacksmith to be in Hawaii and then now for it to regain it gain its strength and being able for me to put it on the map is an honor. What an incredible legacy. Incredible to meet you and see your work in person. And if you want to do that, you guys, uh, uh, Forge to Table Sacramento. It's a two-day event this weekend. We have the information and ticket information on our website. Uh, it's here at a space between on C and 14th. He will actually be forging and along with other makers, too. There's 40 incredible makers, so talented. And what an incredible thing to bring to Sacramento. Yeah, so a lot of people don't quite understand or can wrap their mind around what's happening. So us live, forging live and taking a useless piece of steel and turning it into this right in front of their eyes is what you'll see. Absolutely incredible. Neil, thank you so much for the time. <laughs> like a legend, you guys. <laughs> Clearly, right? Gorgeous. Thanks, Molly. I'm not allowed to touch those ones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>